FIFA Women's World Cup 2019, the top 50 players. South Africa is expected to be one of the weakest teams at the World Cup, but they won't be easy to score on. They have a well-organized defense that's often difficult for even top opponents to break down, and Van Wyck is their organizer. She's the captain of Bayana Bayana and their most capped player ever, but she's taken her leadership beyond the pitch as well, founding her own founding her own club with youth and senior teams. Key stat 26 tackles won in the 2018 NWSL season. Recent dominant performances at the youth international level have many experts believing Spain is the future of the women's game, but Dora John was part of the first generation of players from the country to find international success. She is one of the oldest players on her squad despite being just 29 years old. She regularly locks down opposing wingers from her right back position, as well as being an excellent crosser and regular threat to head in set pieces. Key stat 38 starts for Barcelona in the 2018 19 season. Shaw is one of two players on this list who have never played a professional match, and she'll be looking to use the World Cup as a platform to convince the top clubs in the world that she's worth handing a big contract. At 5 apostrophe 11, Shaw is one of the world's best aerial threats, but she's spent most of her career in midfield, so don't be surprised by her solid touch and passing. She's a superstar in the making, and Jamaica's biggest hope for pulling off an upset or two. Key stat led all players worldwide with 19 goals in World Cup qualifying. Brazil enters this World Cup following a shocking nine-game losing streak. If they finally do find a lineup that gets them back to top form, it'll be because Andressa Alves is capable of playing anywhere on the field. She's usually a flashy winger, but she's a good enough goal scorer to play striker, and a good enough defender that she's regularly used at fullback. Key stat has played left back, left wing and central midfield for Brazil in 2019. <laughs> Angelda has spent most of her career as a central midfielder, but Norway's lack of depth in defense has forced a move back to center back. That might mean we don't get to see the best of Angelda at this World Cup, but it allows Norway to get its most talented players on the field, and Angelda will be one of the slickest passing defenders in the tournament. The one major criticism of Spain in recent years is while they're lead at passing in midfield, they're not clinical enough when they get close to goal. Hermeso, the leading scorer in the Spanish Primera, will be counted on to change that. She likes to drift away from the penalty area to find the ball, but her club season and her two-goal performance against the Netherlands at the Alga Irv Cup give Spanish fans a reason to hope that she's more willing to play like a classic center forward when needed. Key stat led the Spanish Primera division in scoring with 24 goals. There isn't a team with more flashy individual players than England, and those players are enabled by Kira Walsh and the job that she does in the center of midfield. Her more ambitious teammates don't have to worry about turning the ball over, because she's always in position to slow down opposition counter-attacks. But Walsh will take an opportunity to show off too. She scored a 30-yard goal in the FA Cup final. Key stat started every game in England's She Believes Cup win. France supporters have skipped several heartbeats watching Buhati play and goal over the past decade, but her aggressive plays pay off more often than they backfire. Most fans prefer to have a more risk-averse goalkeeper between the sticks, but if you're not a fan of Les Blas, you'll enjoy watching their goalkeeper sprint away from her box and make clearances near midfield. Key stat named best women's goalkeeper by Fs for the past three seasons. Argentina is one of the weakest teams at this World Cup and was placed into one of its most difficult groups. Lalba Celeste's biggest hope for stealing a point, or, honestly, to just score one goal, is Bainini. She's split time between NWSL and the Spanish Primera over the past couple of seasons, and is the focal point of the Argentina attack as the central attacking midfielder. She has the skill and flair to beat multiple defenders on her own, if her team can get her the ball. Key stat 7 career NWSL goals. <laughs> This is Italy's first World Cup since 1999, and Cernoia is the biggest reason they have a chance to get out of their group. Unlike most teams on their level, which have a couple of stars but struggle to put 11 quality players on the field, Italy is a team with good depth and minimal star power. But Cernoia is a complete central midfielder who can score from free kicks, 
and she'll have the most influence on her team's success or failure. Key stat for Serie A goals in 2018-19. Mind has spent most of her career scoring goals from the wing at club level, but she has to fill in at left back most of the time for her country. She's a capable defender, but will be hoping for plenty of opportunities to shine going forward. Mind has struggled to win over her coach at Wolfsburg, but for Norway. She's consistently a top performer no matter which position she plays. Key stat 62 career professional league goals. In 2010, Yoko Yama burst onto the world stage with a goal at the Under-17 World Cup. She went on a slalom run through six defenders before scoring, earning a nomination for the FIFA Puskas Award. Since then, she's developed into Japan's main striker at the senior level, regularly scoring against top 10 teams in the world. These days, she's much more likely to score a poacher's effort or bang one in from distance than she is to attempt to solo dribble through a defense. Key stat four goals in World Cup qualifying. Australia's attacking play style regularly leaves big holes at the back, putting a lot of pressure on their goalkeeper to make saves. Thankfully for them, Williams regularly displays inhuman reactions. She won't have many clean sheets, but she's a good bet to make the save of the tournament. Key stat 10 NWSL clean sheets in 2018. Regularly voted into World 11 lists by her peers and media alike. Fisher has been one of the world's most consistent defenders over the past decade. At 34, she might be a touch past her peak, but she still anchors two of the world's most consistent defenses, for club and country. Wolfsburg conceded the fewest goals in the Freyan Bundesliga with her in the back line this season, and Sweden conceded just twice in UEFA qualifying. Key stat 15 clean sheets in the Freyan Bundesliga in 2018-19. Buchanan was a breakout star for Canada at the last World Cup, but she's still just 23 years old. This season has been a rocky one for Buchanan at Lyon, but she's still Canada's best defender, and one of the highest ceiling players in the world. At her best, she stops opposing forwards from ever getting off decent shots. Canada will be hoping she can put a disappointing club campaign behind her and return to top form. Key stat best young player at the 2015 World Cup. Going into her fifth World Cup as Sweden's starting goalkeeper, Lindahl is still one of her team's most important players. Sweden's pressure-inviting style wouldn't work if they couldn't rely on their goalkeeper to make all the right decisions, and Lindahl rarely makes an error. Some of her younger colleagues might make more spectacular saves, but none of them match her consistency. Key stat 157 caps for Sweden. Ersig is the reigning NWSL Defender of the Year, but she wasn't always a lock to play at this World Cup. She retired from international soccer in 2017, citing disagreement with the New Zealand FA, and has been in and out of the team several times since. But Ersig opted to return ahead of World Cup preparations, and she'll be needed to anchor the football ferns defense. At 5 apostrophe 10, Ersig is elite in the air and she doesn't lack any other essential defending skills. Key stat 86 headers won in NWSL in 2018. In an age where forwards are asked to become more complete players and contribute to multiple phases of play, it's a joy to watch a player who's all about scoring goals. Lee finished as the top scorer of the 2018 Asian Cup, scoring three more goals than everyone else and finding the back of the net in all of China's games. She scores all types of goals from edge of the penalty area bangers to back post diving headers. Key stats 7 goals in World Cup qualifying. From her youth career, Nkout stood out as an extremely talented dribbler, with plenty of pace to go along with it, but it's only recently that she's developed into a finisher as well. Cameroon will be limited to mostly playing on the counter during this World Cup, but they should be able to find some success on the breakthrough Nkout who regularly beats defenders one-on-one -on -one before breaking into space. Key stat, 39 goals over her past four club seasons. As the more dynamic member of Australia's midfield pair, Van Eegman will be tasked with getting up and down the field, supporting the forward line as much as she supports the defence. The back line behind her has been shaky recently, so she'll have to be at her best when Australia loses the ball. Expect to see her score, too. She's one of the world's best penalty takers. Key stat 5 assists in her last two W League seasons. 
Any professional team in the world would be thrilled to have Fleming, but she's opted to stay at UCLA, where she's working on a materials engineering degree while taking occasional breaks to embarrass amateur footballers. At no point has she ever looked overmatched when she's thrown into a game against pros, and she'll be Canada's primary playmaker. She's already one of the best creative passers in the world. Key stat 22 goals, 18 assists in three college seasons. At the top of her game, Kirby's combination of athleticism, work rate, creativity, and finishing skill made her one of the best forwards in the world. She's been far from her best in the FA WSL this season, but she still looked dangerous when slotted into the number 10 role for England. She could compete for the golden ball, or she could lose her starting spot. It's hard to tell which one is more likely at the moment. Key stat 2 hat-tricks in the 2018-19 WSL season. Even the most structured teams are usually allowed one flair player, and Islany is that for Sweden. While most of the team will prioritize staying in shape and playing safe passes, Islany will not be afraid to run at defenders and try to make creative plays. Sweden has lacked for scoring power since the retirement of Lotta Schellen, and will rely on Islany to be their most dangerous attacker. Key stat 9 goals in the 2018 Domhalsvenskan. The six-time World Player of the Year and the greatest player ever in women's soccer has lost quite a bit of her pace, but is still one of the top attacking players on the planet. The question is whether Brazil can make the most of her current skill set. Marta is a more intelligent player and better passer than she was in her prime, but her teammates look like they don't know how to play without her running solo through entire opposing defenses. She can still be the centerpiece of a great team if they understand that the Marta of a decade ago isn't walking through the door. Key stat 111 career goals for Brazil. When anyone questions Australia's defence, they mean three quarters of it. There's no doubt in Catley's qualifications as a world class left back in all phases of play. She's the Matilda's best defender by a mile, and also a major threat getting forward. Expect her to deliver a lot of quality crosses into the box and pick up an assist or two before Australia is done. Key stat 3 and WSL assists in 2018. Pop spent her early career getting shifted around the Germany front line to fill in wherever she was needed, but at 28, she's now firmly established as the country's starting centre forward. Germany has quicker and flashier young talents ready to come off the bench, but Pop's consistent physical presence and intelligent movement make her a key piece for one of the tournament favourites. Key stat 100 career free in Bundesliga goals. <laughs> Scotland has qualified for the World Cup for the first time, and they'll be depending on the leadership of Corsi at the back to keep them in games. The Scots moved Corsi into midfield out of necessity at the Euros two years ago, but the back line struggled without her, and she should be back to running the defence in France. She's one of the most positionally sound defenders in the world, and she's entering the World Cup in excellent club form. Key stat 117 accurate long balls in NWSL in 2018. Norway's highly structured style of play was one of the factors that drove Ballon d'Or winner Ada Hedgerberg to quit the team, but her country women will have at least one source of creativity in their squad. Hansen can play all across the attack, but usually lines up as a second striker with the freedom to drift around. She's one of the best in the world at dribbling with pace and it often looks impossible for defenders to pick the ball off her feet. Key stat 6 goals in World Cup qualifying. Oshola entered the last World Cup fresh off starring at the Under-20 World Cup. She scored in her first match at the senior tournament, but looked very much like a raw young talent without much end product to go along with her pace and dribbling ability. But fast forward four years, and Oshola is a complete attacking player. Her through balls and crossing have improved considerably and her finishing is now arguably the best part of her game. She can play on the right or at center forward, depending on which of her extremely talented teammates play from game to game. Key stat 3 goals at the 2018 Africa Cup of Nations. No team depends on its star player more than South Korea depends on G. She plays behind the central striker and provides just as many assists as goals, but she's also her country's all-time leading scorer by a wide margin. She's technically superb, with one of the sweetest first touches in the game, 
and she makes brilliant runs off 1-2 exchanges with teammates. The big question for South Korea is whether they can find ways to exploit defenses that focus exclusively on denying touches to G. Key stat South Korea's all-time leading scorer with 54 goals. In 2016, Ray Pino rushed back from an ACL injury only to struggle at the Olympics and finish the NWSL season with just 205 minutes played. Many assume that her career as a key player for the United States was over. But three years later, she's more important than she's ever been. The 33-year-old is entering the World Cup on top form, and will be expected to tally several goals and assists from the left wing. Key stat 7 goals, 6 assists in NWSL in 2018. No one is entering the World Cup on hotter form than Paris. She's scored 19 goals in 19 games for Manchester City in the FA WSL this season, and she found the back of the net six times for England during World Cup qualifying. Paris has always been one of the fastest players in England, but she only recently added elite finishing skills to her game. She scored just one league goal in 2016 before tallying 11 last season, then increasing her scoring total once again this season. Key stat 2018-19 WSL's second leading scorer with 19 goals. Wang has been well known as one of China's biggest rising stars for over a decade. She made her youth international debut at 12 and first suited up for the senior team at 17, but it's just in the past year, since moving to Paris Saint-Germain, that she's become one of the best midfielders in the world. She's never afraid to sprint through midfield with the ball at her feet and she has a wicked left foot. Her set-piece deliveries could be key for China. Key stat 7 Division 1 feminine goals in 2018-19. The Netherlands has one of the best attacks at the World Cup, and it starts with Van de Donk. She's the primary playmaker that all of their moves revolve around, and she'll drift from her central attacking midfield role to find the ball. She's added a lot more to her game over the past two years too. Her 13 goal tally for Arsenal this season is her best since she's left her home country, and she's a much more adept tackler than she was when the Netherlands won the 2017 European Championship. Key stat 6 WSL assists in 2018-19. Once considered a regular Ballon d'Or contender, Henry hasn't quite been on that level of form since she left Europe for NWSL, but she still re-established herself as a first-choice player at Olympique Lyonnais this season and was a key part of their Champions League winning campaign. Henry is a very well-rounded defensive midfielder, responsible for starting France's attacks and slowing down opposition breaks, and she is equally adept at both. Key stat 2015 World Cup Silver Ball winner. Morgan is still a world-class finisher. She's racked up 21,000 goals since the start of 2018, many of them from lurking around the box on set pieces and finishing off knockdowns. She might not be the run-in-behind style striker you remember, but she's still one of the best in the world, and her willingness to do the dirty work is what makes the US attack work so well. Key stats 7 goals in World Cup qualifying. It's rare for a right back to receive the accolades bronze has, but she manages to stand out at what is often the least glamorous position on the field. She seems to have endless energy and never gets caught out of position, despite her regular adventurous runs towards the opposing end line to deliver excellent crosses into the box. She's great with the ball at her feet too, leading her coach to experiment with playing her at central midfield. Key stat started every game of Lions Champions League winning campaign. Every team needs an energy player, someone to do the running. Daberitz is that for Germany, but in another timeline, she could have been a world-class team's most creative attacking player. There aren't any box-to-box -box central midfielders who have quicker feet, and when she does get an opportunity to take on a defender with a skill move, she doesn't let it slip away. Key stat 13 free in Bundesliga goals in 2018-19. Demi scored an outrageous 31 goals in 27 appearances for Arsenal this season, to go along with 11 goals in her last 15 appearances for the Netherlands. She might not be as well-rounded as the other players in contention for best striker in the world, but with a scoring record like that, she doesn't have to be. Expect the Netherlands to set up their team to enable Demi to score as many goals as possible without worrying about anything else. Keystat led 2018-19 WSL in scoring with 22 goals.
Little is arguably the best player ever for both Arsenal and Reign FC, and she won the PFA Player of the Year and NWSL MVP in back-to-back -back seasons. Scotland is built around giving her creative freedom in a central attacking midfield role, and she makes the most of it with spectacular goals and assists. Her first touch is second to none, and she might be the best player in the world at turning away from defenders with it. Key stat 34 goals in her three NWSL seasons. Sinclair can't blow by defenders with pace like she used to, but very few formerly speed-dependent players have been able to adjust their games as well as her. She's become an excellent playmaker, and she creates space with intelligent movement, ghosting away from oblivious defenders. This should be her last World Cup, so appreciate her while you can. Key stats scored for Canada in each of the last 20 consecutive years. What do you do when your best centre-back and your best midfielder are the same player? That's the dilemma Japan has had for Kumagai's entire career. It appears that she'll be playing in the back at this World Cup, and if she does, she'll be by far the smoothest passing central defender at the tournament. Key stat player of the match in the 2016 Champions League final. Ertz was a central defender, and a great one, at the last World Cup. Her best skill was making aggressive plays to win the ball high up the pitch, though, so she is being given more opportunities to do that. American fans might be a bit less stressed out if they had a defensive midfielder who held her position, but Hertz creates so many dangerous counterattacks with her aggressive style that it's almost certainly worth it to just let her do her thing. Key stat leads all players in XG, expected goals. She's made a habit of doing that regularly over the last decade, as she's scored hundreds of goals cutting in from the left wing, dozens of them in the Champions League, which she's won five times, 73 of them for France, who she's trying to fire to their first major championship. She's fast, direct, and will have opposing right backs spinning around trying to catch up to her. Key stat 19 goals for Lyon in Division 1 Feminine and Champions League in 2018-19. Horan's rise to the top of women's soccer has been anticipated for a long time. She scored a goal per game for the United States at youth level and signed for Paris Saint-Germain as an 18-year-old. Horan took a bit longer than expected to become a first-choice player for the UZT, but now, at 24, she's finally considered undroppable. Keystat led NWSL with 321 duels won. Maris Zahn is the most skilled midfield playmaker in the world. And unlike 2015, she is entering this World Cup completely healthy. Germany was bounced out of the semi finals of that tournament by the United States as Marissa Zahn hobbled around the pitch, but a year later, they won an Olympic gold medal as she scored in the final. They'll have their sights set on winning with their number 10 on top form. Keystat scored in the 2016 Olympic gold medal match and the 2019 Champions League final. The Netherlands have an attack loaded with stars. But the one with the most pressure to deliver is Martins, the left winger who creates most of their goals. Martins was the best player at Euro 2017 and was subsequently named FIFA's World Player of the Year, and she's only improved since then. Key stat 2017 FIFA Ballon d'Or winner. Heath has long been the United States' flashiest player, but her tricks used to have very little on the end of them. Over the past two years, she's finally developed a killer instinct around the box and is now the Americans' most impactful attacker. Fortunately for neutral fans, her added goals and assists have not come at the expense of her creative skills, and you can still expect to see quite a few nutmegs. Key stat 8 goals, 7 assists in NWSL in 2018. The first thing you will notice about Renard is that she's very tall. She's 6 apostrophe 2 without her hair, and at least 7 with it on full display. Her size and jumping ability make her a formidable goal scorer on set pieces. She's found the back of the net 86 times for France and Lyon, despite being a central defender. But there's so much more to her game than her size. Key stat 11 French Division 1 feminine titles. There are times when Kerr looks so dominant, 
You wonder why she doesn't just choose to score every time she has the ball. She's won back-to-back -back NWSL Golden Boots, and she left for Australia camp with six goals in six games this season. She's won back-to-back -back Australian W League Golden Boots too. She's scored 79 goals over her last 83 club games, and 23 goals in her last 26 games for Australia over the same time period. She's had no bad run of form for two and a half years. She just keeps scoring. And for that reason, Australia is among the favourites to win the World Cup. The Matildas went through a surprise coaching change just six months before the tournament started, and their defence is shaky, but Kerr's breakaway speed and decisive finishing give them a chance to win any game. There's no reason to believe she won't keep scoring constantly at the World Cup. Key stat and WSL's all-time leading scorer with 61 goals. In previous editions of the Women's World Cup, it was easy to identify the big stars. A dozen players or so stood out above the rest. But the rapid growth of women's club soccer over the last four years has provided more professional opportunities between World Cups for hundreds of players, and that's made the talent pool for this tournament deeper than ever before. Your favorite player that did not make this list was not forgotten. There were just too many genuinely excellent players to include in our power cards. In previous years, Making a top 50 list might have been a stretch. In 2019, we could have easily justified a top 100. Women's soccer has never been more competitive, and the golden ball race has never been more wide open.